Aaron, I'm Brady from Ontario, Canada, and I want to learn the backside 180, please. Here's the tricks I know. Hey man, thanks a lot for sending your video. I really do appreciate it. Good ollie, good shove it. I love that there's snow in the background. Snow in the attempts. Cool, so those previous tricks are all good. I like you fully rotated your front side 180. Now we got this back side 180 to take down. What the? You just did a backside heel flip. Now I'm not quite sure if this video was a joke. Hmm. Well, we'll do it anyway. Okay, so obviously they aren't consistent enough and I think I'm doing something wrong, so please help, thanks. So can you do a backside heel flip, but you can't backside 180? Is that what you're telling me? Or is that backside heel flip just a total freak accident and you actually can't backside 180 that good? I'm confused. Okay, well anyways, pop it around. This is super interesting because look at how off axis, like how uncentered you are in the air. Your head is really far down and then your legs are really far out behind you. Watch this, right straight from where you're popping, boom. If you freeze frame that, your your body, it looks like you're like the leaning tower of Pisa really far over. And that's the thing you mainly need to work on. You want to keep the board right underneath you. With all of these tricks, the best that you can keep the board right underneath you so that you're like really centered, the better. Cool, so I'm kind of kind of roll through the whole process here of how I do these and I teach these dim deer here back side 180s so right now I got my wheels in a crack and I'm just practicing actually just popping the board up dragging my foot and turning my head and shoulders so I know that kind of sounds like a lot and that is the sequence that you're going to be doing eventually you're going to be putting that together really fast pop drag turn head and shoulders and your head and shoulder turn is almost simultaneous to your drag up, which is almost simultaneous to your pop. There's a very, very slight difference in the timing, but that's about it. So here we have it with my old school braille t-shirt. Whoop, whoop, iron on. What? So pop, drag, turn your head and shoulders. Again. Pop, drag, turn your head and shoulders. So that's the cheater way to do it. That's the late way to do it. And I really like to teach people to do it like that. I really like people to understand which truck to land on, how to pivot, how to turn their head and shoulders. And I think later on in your skateboarding career that just having that ability will help you. I guarantee it'll help you with manuals because that's what this guy do all day long. Pivot here, pivot there, pivot everywhere. You know what I'm saying? But anyways, in terms of the 180, basically what you can think of on this is you're going to pop up an ollie into the air while turning your head and shoulders, then you're going to turn your legs. And I think that that concept is a little bit lost just because of how off kilter your head and your board is. Like it, there's definitely a big discrepancy of how, I don't know how to describe how turned you are how like off center you are I guess is the best way to do it so in that sense what you want to do is you want to bend your knees you can bend the center of your body your your midsection there more but you want to pop up nice and straight so when you pop up straight again you pop up you ollie and then as your head and shoulders are turning then you're going to bring your legs around but notice even on that one I did land on the front truck and I did pivot just a little bit but it's really nice to know which truck to land on and to know exactly how you do that so you do have that perfect point of control. So watch like right here, look at how centered my head, shoulders, and body are over my board and that's the main thing I want you to concentrate on. So ollie and then 180. Cool, so for any of you guys looking to master these tricks in the exact correct sequence, Get Skateboarding Made Simple Volume 1. I'm telling you, it is the most detailed tutorial video there is, and it breaks down it so detailed of every step so that there's never something you're not able to practice. 
there's always something you're going to be able to practice. And I'm not just saying practice the full trick, I'm saying practice the parts.